Hello everyone, it's me once again. So about 10-11 uh, hours ago, uh, Tesla or Elon Musk has released this uh, prototype of a robot called Optimus Robot. So that has been revealed. Let's have a look. So game over for those who are in robotics, by the way, who are trying to compete, compete against Tesla. So here it goes. Okay, the gesture of heart opens up and um, wow, so that looks like a, um, that's quite interesting. Okay, let's just pause there a bit. So what I can see is those two um, black rounded shape on it, on this robot's chest. I presume those are for the fan for, um, you know, the overheating preventions and etc. I think the shoulder component looks rather complicated. I haven't actually seen any of that. Not that actually I am the expert on it, but I do know the, some of the basics of it. Uh, the neck looks pretty high. So it kind of reminds me of a shape of a more like a woman's side than a man, if you see what I mean, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, okay, right. So the, it kind of, the way how it walks, the movement is similar to um, the Toyota the robot. Astro is it? And it's also a bit slow as well. So that's slightly disappointing. Um, oh, you never, I never seen any robot like that, but it's way too very interesting. It has a lot of um, cables, so if one of those cables. Um, I think the bug got some moves too. Oh, it's doing the woo woo. Okay. But it's still very slow. It reminds me of like an 80 or 90 year old grandma or grandpa doing something very hip. So, this is essentially the same full self driving computer that runs in your Tesla cars, by the way. Oh, right. So, they're using the same um, main board. The this is the. This is literally the first Tesla time car, the robot has oh, operated sorry, without a tether was on stage tonight. Okay, so look at all those complicated wires by the way. What if someone pulls off one of them? I mean, I built a robot myself for that. That's probably going to take ages to build. Okay, so Elon is a bit frustrated. He's like, hurry up. <laughs> What's going on? Good. Um, so the robot can actually do a lot more than we just showed you. We just didn't want it to fall that on its face. That reminds uh, me of Boston's so Dynamics. We'll, we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll they borrow a few components here and there the robot doing to a bunch assemble of other the prototype, right? Um, yeah, which are less risky. Um, yeah. We should close the screen, guys. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> we, we have already... Okay, so this reminds me of Boston Dynamics where uh, the robot itself yeah, we wanted actually... to show a little bit more what we've done over the past few yeah it's very similar and just walking around and dancing it's on the slower stage. though uh, but um just okay. humble beginnings but uh, you can see the oh, autopilot the, this neural network that's running amazing just okay i'm just going to pause another one uh, directly on that on that new platform that's yeah. my watering can okay so let's stop there i have seen some of the renderings from um from other robots point of view i never seen such a clear rendering i'm pretty sure this is not um how should i say um like edited i can see those two individuals guys on green the robot is actually identifying that the plant is a target as red and the uh, vase and also so the green basically means probably do not harm don't annoy these individuals okay so okay that's very interesting very clear rendering amazing not pixelated yeah, when you when you see a rendered view, that's that's the robot. What's the that's the world the robot sees. So it's it's it very clearly identifying objects. That's it's like amazing. this is the object it should pick up, picking it yeah, up. Yeah, but it didn't have the sense um, of area. Oh, it, it did. Yeah. Sorry, my apologies. My bad. Okay, so that's a. We use the same process as we did for autopilot to collect data and train neural networks that we then deploy on wow, the robot. Wow, so it's. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. Okay. But it's slow. Something that we'll like try to nail down in a few months, over the next few months, I would say. Uh, okay. To perfection. This, this is so really it's an already in operation in building cars. Well, that <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. So.
That's very good. Well done. Very interesting. How much is it going to be? It's going to cost a lot, wouldn't it? And that's not the only thing we have to show today, right? Yeah, absolutely. So um, that, 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 uh, what you saw was uh, what we call Bumble C. That's our uh, uh, sort of rough development robot uh, using rough development semi already off the shelf actuators. For cars. That's um, very interesting. But we actually uh, have gone a step further than that uh, already. The team's done an incredible job. Um, and we actually have uh, an Optimus bot with uh, fully Tesla designed and built actuators, um, battery pack, uh, control system, everything. Um, it, it, it wasn't quite ready to walk, uh, but it, I think it will walk in a few weeks. Um, but we wanted to show you the, the robot, uh, the, 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 something that's actually fairly close to what will go into production and, um, and show you all the, all the things it can do. Well, so let's bring it out. Hang on. It's more developed, but it can't do it. That doesn't make sense. So it means probably it's too heavy at the moment. I don't know. Yeah, I can see three guys actually laboring. Yeah, you got some seal on it, but similar sort of. Um, yeah, there's there's more sort of metal covering, plastic metally covering on it, so it looks more finished. Um, but it can't walk. Slightly. Quicker movement is it? Smoother. Uh, <laughs> look at that. So the leg. Okay. So this is much softer and slightly more quicker move. So yeah, but then it can't walk. That's very weird. But yeah. So it's about 70 to 60 percent speed of the human. So here you're seeing uh, Optimus with uh, the, the, these are the. With the, with the degrees of freedom that we expect to have in Optimus Production Unit 1, That's uh, which is the ability to move uh, all the fingers independently, uh, move the, uh, to have the, the thumb have uh, two degrees of freedom, uh, so it has a What if one of the fingers and, uh, working? Both left and right hand, that would be so it's really able annoying. to operate uh, tools and do useful things. Our goal <clears> is to make um, a, a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. And uh, we've okay. also so designed it using the same discipline that we use in designing the car, which is to say to, to design it for manufacturing uh, such that it's possible to make the robot at, in, in high volume uh, at low cost uh, with high reliability. What is the cost? So that, that's incredibly important. I mean, you've all seen very impressive humanoid uh, robot demonstrations, um, and that, that's great, but what are they missing? Um, they're missing a brain, they, they, don't, they don't have the, the intelligence right, so they're to using Tesla brain the world to be able to operate. But I thought themselves. Elon Musk and was against they're, they're also very expensive, AI, so um, robots are fine, but AI is not. Okay. Um, whereas uh, this, this is, Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in, in very high volume, probably ultimately millions of units, nice. um, and it, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. How much? So, how much? I would say probably less than twenty thousand dollars. Less than twenty thousand. That's pretty good, actually. So, would you rather buy a car, second hand, or a um, or a robot, basically? So, yeah. I mean, again, the most negative feedback that I've been given so far is that it's a bit slow. It reminds me of the Japanese uh, robot that has been demonstrated during the Japanese recent Olympics. I always think that does a ro robot really need a leg um, unless it needs to walk up and down the stairs uh, for commercial purpose. Yes, you do definitely need legs, but for the domestic purpose, if I mean, a lot of people, I guess, do live in the like um, two stories, three stories. Yes. Uh, but if you live in a flat where quite a lot of people do, you don't. So maybe that could be another option to look into. So it'll be much quicker. It is slow. Um, so I think there's a lot, long way to go for the upgrades and so on. But um, we all know that if you bet against Elon Musk, you always lose. You're very likely to lose because he always kept his promise. He says he's going to deliver a million, million of them um, in a price less than 20,000 US dollars. So that is very interesting indeed. So it's happening, people, because we need this sort of um, force. Um, technology because uh, we are in a population stage where Elon Musk is also concerned about is that we're aging population especially in the West so if we can have someone doing all the manual labor then our efficiencies will go up and our life 
life uh, type will also lifestyle will get much better as well so well done um, Elon Musk I don't understand why a uh, upgraded version the more finished look cannot walk obviously there is a good reason behind it but I would like to find out more but this channel is LJP Tech um, I would like to dedicate this channel mainly focusing on robotics it has brought in a lot of good views re related to robotics and I'm gonna keep it that way so I'm gonna keep an eye on this one I really hope one day some um, UK based company or individual who owns one of these uh, Optimus robot which still for like um, humble individual like myself is quite expensive they actually um, let me see meet this robot and see what it could do that would be really brilliant so look forward to see that happening in the near future but anyhow i hope you like my reaction towards it i'm very positive about it other than the fact that it's slow um that needs a lot of upgrading so thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech have a fantastic weekend all the best bye bye